Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jenna Redfield. Today's a very, very exciting day because I'm officially announcing my brand new template. You guys have been asking me literally in the comments for months, do you guys have a template? Do you have a template? Is there a template? And yes, now there is a template. It is the ADHD Life Tracker Daily Dashboard template. So. Today I'm going to be walking you through how to use it, how to buy it, how to get it so that you can set it up. I spent hours, literally hours, connecting a lot of these relational databases to each other. Uh, this is something I haven't seen in any other databases or any other templates that I found, which is basically where all of the dates for the next year, 2022, are all linked. So there's a couple of different, there's about six different databases that all link back to one central database and it rolls up or tracks all of the different things each day. So you can see in a snapshot of the day what you've done. For example, clothing, what, what did you wear today? Journal, what did you write about today? Food, what did you eat today? Fitness, what did you do today? It's a way for you to have the individual databases that you can update and it's scheduled by parts of the day, it's very easy to update them, kind of going through your day. And then at the end of the day, you will see your rolled up stats, basically. I'm very into stats. I think it's important to have stats and ways to track your life. And these are the things that I have found to be helpful. And what's cool is you can obviously add your own. So the nice thing about Notion templates is they're customizable, so you can add whatever you want. But this was just kind of what I have personally used and this is kind of my current updated database and how I currently use it. The nice thing about templates too is I can actually update it um, uh, you know, throughout time and so if I discover maybe a new tool or something I can add it in and you can re-download the template once you buy it. So one of the things that you know I have included in the template is tutorials. So for example on the first page there's a quick links and because I, you have to set it up yourself, like for example, a tally form, um, I embedded the video that explains how to do that. So that way, like I can't set up all of the relational or linked things like uh, a form, but you can set that up yourself and then it works the same way it would work with me. So I'm gonna kind of walk through that a little bit today as I walk through this template. So you can get it at jennaredfield.gumroad.com or head to ADHDandnotion.com, which is my brand new website uh, for all things ADHD and Notion. And we actually have uh, a link to all of the templates. I'm gonna be coming out with more. This is just the first one. Um, it does cost 30 bucks, but it's got like a ton of different templates in it, like a bunch of different databases. So um, and we've already sold a couple, which is very exciting. So make sure to review it um, if you're on Gumroad. Uh, I'm also gonna be selling it on Etsy and Creative Market down the road. So there'll be multiple places to buy if you have an Etsy account and you wanna buy it on there. Um, it is available as well. So. Hope that you guys like this video and let's just get started. Oh, and make sure to subscribe for more videos and join the Facebook group. Okay, so this is the ADHD life track. I'm gonna close this. Um, so this is what it will get. Um, if you go and buy it, you will have the duplicate button. All you do is click duplicate and it should send it into your Notion. So the first thing that you'll see over on the left is what I mentioned, the quick links. So this is something that I personally use and I have the tutorial here how to do it, but basically I added where you can actually create um, a filtered form that basically adds quick items into your task list. I'm actually gonna show you how I do it on my personal one um, once it's done. So let me head over to my version of this, um, which I have over here. So if you go, so my command center looks a little different. I haven't updated it like the current one, but you'll see here that I have, you see where it says add to Notion. So for example, if you're going to add items into your um, to-do, then you can add it here. You can add progress one, however, your priority one, add an action item. And then when you submit it, it automatically adds that into your to-do list. So this is why I like the quick links. Same with grocery list. If you have a grocery item, it goes into the store. You can set all this up, quick links, this goes into the brain, um, and then quick brain. So those are the four that it comes with. So you can set it up however you want, uh, but basically I walk through in that video how to set up the quick links for yourself. I will go back to the template. So give me a second, I have multiple accounts. <laughs> um, so, okay, so basically 
th those are there to allow you to have quick links and quick basically tasks or whatever you want to add. Now, as you'll see as you scroll down, this is kind of what it looks like. So these original databases are, you just click that to open it. So what you'll see here is you have your daily life tracker and habits roll up. So if I click into this, you'll see some of these are roll ups, which means that they are populated based off of other templates. So you can actually track the day's thing. So some of these you'll see that they're linked to a specific date in a different database and that's how you can roll these up, right? So for example, the daily journal, it's linked to the same date as today and that's what took so long to do. So when you go into the daily journal and update it, it should automatically update here in the roll up. So I'll show you guys an example of that. Uh, let's go into, yeah, let's, I'll just show you an example of that real quick. So the first thing that you'll see here is your morning routine. And this is something that I've created for you. You can have a playlist, um, you can embed your own. This is just my current one. You'll see that you have options. And then I do the miracle morning, um, which is, you know, silence and stretch, you do whatever. I have some examples of affirmations that you can use, meditations, visualization. These are just playlists. I also have where you can add your daily exercise reading, you can have the brain, whichever book you're reading, and then scribing, this is kind of what I wanted to mention. So if you go into scribing, let's say you pick a mood. So today I'm feeling happy, I'm excited about this template. So the moment that I set that up, if I now go back to the daily life, you will see that that is now there, right? Happy, so it is rolled up right here, the mood. So basically the reason I wanted to do this template this way, and this is what I've started doing myself is, I can go through my day and add some data and then it all gets gathered up in the end, right? So if I go into breakfast workout, so one of the things you can do is you can insert a tally form that adds to your daily weight. I weigh myself every morning and I actually um, use a smart scale so I can add what I weigh that day to actually start tracking weight loss. So if that's something that you wanna do, you can create a tally form that adds it into the daily workout summary. In the daily workout summary, one of the things is steps as well as weight. So you could just add it here as well. So if I, I weighed myself this morning, I could add that there. You can also go in and you can see that we have options for breakfast, lunch, dinner. So let's just add. Okay, so for example, if I wanted to have breakfast, I would just type in oatmeal, which is something I really enjoy. And you'll see that that gets added as oatmeal. And then if you go back to the daily life tracker, you'll see oatmeal is now added as one of my meals. So that is something that's really cool. I can literally do that with everything. Um, and for example, lunch and dinner I can do the exact same thing. If I add lunch as, let's see, what, what pizza? I don't know. I have air fryer pizza. You guys should try it with tortillas in the air fryer. So now you'll see that I have that also as another thing that I eat. So that is really how it works for the roll-ups. Um, you can do that with everything. So I'll kind of walk through. So we've got the breakfast and workout. I have added just you know, some, I'm using Caroline, uh, Caroline Gervin's, if you want to change it out, whatever you're doing, you can also add exercise daily, that kind of stuff. Then when we move into the morning routine, I kind of mentioned this already, but we've got, you know, a clock. Um, I think you can change out the weather if you want to. I don't know if it automatically saves to your space, but you can see the savers, which is from Miracle Morning book. And then, you know, again, if you wanted to write something in your journal, and then I have the morning checklist. So this is a daily checklist that you do in the morning. So you can change it to whatever you want, but I added things like put on clothes, put on makeup, dry hair. So as someone with ADHD, you can actually just check all these off, make sure that they're done. Um, this one doesn't really get added to the daily tracker. It's more just within this one, uh, but I just wanted to kind of you know make sure that worked. So same with lunch and dinner. And then evening and night, um, I have the daily checklist that's filtered to just evening. Um, it takes a second to load. And then I have whatever you're consuming. If you're watching a TV show, this is the brain, which is uh, a database that basically houses everything that you consume. And then down here is where the original databases are. So in order for all of this to work, you have to have the original databases. So for example, if I wanted to see what outfits I was gonna wear, I can do them here. So for example, if I added jeans and um, a pink shirt, which I added here as examples. Now you can see that those show up as well. So literally you're adding all of the different things that you um, are doing within. So we've got, uh, let's see, so products and assets, 
This is that database that comes with it, the daily journal. Again, every single day you can have the mood. So you can see it in different views. So you can see it in the daily view, however you want to look at it. Uh, we've got the to do, daily to do. So basically those two are just in different ways. So this is more from a date perspective. And then you can link over to the to do list. Um, I'm actually, this is the overall template for the daily tracker. And then within food and fitness, I've got groceries and supplements, meals, daily workout summary, and the meal planning. So this is really helpful. I mean, I can go into all these, but basically the groceries, um, I literally found like all the groceries I have. So if you like think of anything, um, and then, you know, I've got the status, is it in stock? It used to be where I would have like out of stock in stock, but I added a bunch more statuses, running low, grocery list, unsure, don't repurchase, that kind of stuff. The store, these are just stores that I use. Um, what category is it? Um, and then you can link over to the recipes. I also have the storage area. So if it's in the cupboard, fridge, freezer, wherever you store it, I store some things in my bathroom. I also put supplements here. Um, how often you use it, the cost and the expiration date. I found those are like the most important things to have. Um, I also have like one, like for example, if you have um, ADHD meds, uh, I put my pills on here um, and where I store them, I actually store mine in my bedroom, not in my bathroom. Don't store pills in the bathroom. Okay. Then I've got the daily workout summary. I kind of mentioned this, you know, your steps, meditation, sleep. You can calculate your sleep. And then we've got, let's see, I'm trying to remember everything. Meals and recipes. I have like different links. Some of them have links, some of them don't like, like certain things, French toast, you know how to make that. Um, but like, you know, some of them I have the links for, I have a lot of air fryer meals. So if you have an air fryer, um, you can also like link over to the ingredients if you want. So it, it depends on, again, you can delete all those if you want. If you don't want to use any of my recipes, I just linked all the ones I currently had in there and you can definitely do whatever you want with it. Again, this is a template. You can edit it to your heart's content. I think that this is, uh, it, it was a lot of work to put together because I had to think about, okay, well, what do I really want to have rolled up every day? And this was really it, right? This was, this was really what I wanted to uh, have for you guys. I also have a view that is a weekly, so this is actually nice. So if you have like um, daily, uh, weekly habit tracker, you've got chores if you want to add a chores something there. Um, I've got meal planning and then I've got the grocery list. So this is helpful. Um, also, you can insert a Google Calendar. I recommend using the Indify Calendar and linking it back to your uh, Google Calendar. I obviously can't put that there because you need your own Google Calendar, but that's the link to the Indify website. So that is my first template. It does cost $30. I think it's actually a pretty good deal because of all the different databases that you get. So if you have any questions or want me to go through something individually, if you're confused, um, or if you have any questions, let me know because this is definitely something that is um, a first time publishing. So I'm like, you know, wanting to make sure it works really well. And so I'm going to obviously be updating it, making sure everything's working. Uh, but yeah, I hope that this was helpful walkthrough of my ADHD life tracker daily command center. You can get it on Gumroad and yeah, I'm excited.